America's free market democratic system has been good for companies like Toyota for a long time. So why would Toyota support politicians who try to overthrow the very system that's been so profitable for them? Uh-oh. The anti-Trump Lincoln Project is now taking on Toyota. Toyota's given more money than any company to the seditious politicians who voted to overturn the 2020 election result. That's true. They even hired Mitch McConnell's former chief of staff as a lobbyist. That's true. Toyota's number one at finding ways to financially reward the very party that took our nation to the brink on January 6th. It's time to call Toyota's corporate leadership. If they don't reconsider where they send their money, Americans will reconsider where we send ours. Mm, brutal ad. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. In the wake of the January 6th Capitol riot, more than 200 corporations and industry groups vowed to withhold money from members of Congress who voted against certifying the election. 146 Republicans did vote against Joe Biden's certification, and some of the corporate money they used to receive dried up. But Toyota took a different turn. Since January 6th, the Japanese automaker has topped the list of companies that have donated to lawmakers who voted against certifying Joe Biden's victory. The watchdog group Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, or CRU, found that since January the 6th, Toyota has given $55,000 to 37 of the Republicans who voted to block certification. Now, $55,000 may not seem like a huge amount on paper. But the figure is more than twice as much as the number two company on the list, defense contractor Cubic Corps. Furthermore, Toyota's GOP donations include a February contribution to Arizona Representative Andy Biggs, who helped organize the January 6th Stop the Steel rally that led to the Capitol riot. The Lincoln Project, in a press release with their new ad, said, quote, Companies who pledge to not give money to bad actors in Congress have shamelessly and cynically returned to their transactional ways. The Lincoln Project will inform employees, shareholders, and customers of these companies' egregious anti-American behavior. The criticism of Toyota is creating waves. Toyota's stock price has taken a hit. And there's plenty of anecdotal evidence that thousands of Americans who were considering a Toyota vehicle have gone to competitors, including Honda and Subaru. So now... Toyota is engaged in damage control. The automaker just announced, quote, we are actively listening to our stakeholders, and at this time, we have decided to stop contributing to those members of Congress who contested the certification of certain states in the 2020 election. That is progress. However, in my view, there are still some problems. First of all, Toyota said it will stop the contributions at this time, meaning it may resume contributions in a few days or weeks. Secondly, Toyota is not asking for the $55,000 back that it contributed this year. The company has already bought whatever influence over Republican lawmakers Toyota was seeking. You cannot unring that bell. Still, kudos to the Lincoln Project and all Americans who have pressured Toyota. When consumers use their wallets as leverage and demand corporations embrace social responsibilities, the impact is significant.